Soup. Soup keeps you warm at night. Ernie McPherson rarely sleeps at night. The homeless man is always on the move, so he won't freeze to death. Everybody home. And neither will others. One's in the back seat, one's in the front seat over there. Like many small cities, Meadow Lake has no homeless shelter and no drop-in center for people to warm up in the evenings or on weekends. It's like there's nowhere in the world for them and nobody wants them. They're really happy when they see me come along. Ernie likes to check in on about 15 people every night and he has a pretty good idea where to find them, often in alleyways, abandoned buildings or vehicles. Doesn't take long to freeze out here. The daytime brings warm refuge. Good afternoon, young man. Those here at Door of Hope Soup Kitchen say McPherson has saved more than one life. He says he does it because someone saved his life last winter when he fell asleep outside in a snowstorm. And I know it would have died. My guardian angel. Last week, the province announced more money for shelter spaces in larger cities. It says people in communities that don't have a shelter can ask social services for hotel room tokens. But this outreach worker says homeless people are often denied. They've been told, sorry, <laughs> you've already maxed yourself out this time. A group of business owners, church leaders and concerned residents have formed a coalition to lobby for a shelter. In the short term, they want to keep this place open 24-7 to provide heat, supervision and security. People are going to die and, and it's on us. It's got to be, got to be addressed. As for Ernie McPherson, some friends helped him buy this camper to get him off the street, but there's no heat. That'll start the furnace inside, but right now it's empty. Still too cold to sleep, too scared to rest. He's back on the streets come nightfall. Something I gotta be here doing. Until there's a shelter, I'll be here patrolling every night. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.